Look, we need food, okay? And I can't find any by myself. The gang promised me we'd have food if I joined in. I didn't have a choice. Maybe if you spent less time feeling sorry for yourself, you could figure out something better. Right this minute, I can give you a dozen ideas about how to get plenty of food. But I'm not helping anyone who wants to live by stealing from me. Lisa, we were scared. We thought we were going to die. We were starving. We're still starving. And it's my job to keep us alive. Nothing makes stealing okay. I don't care how scared you are. I... I won't join the gang, Lisa. I promise. Okay? Sorry, but I don't trust you. Not yet, at least. If you want some advice, here it is. There are places where you can find supplies. Spend some time thinking about that tonight. And if you don't want to be afraid anymore, come to my house on Friday at 3 o'clock. We'll be making plans that will help everyone. I'll be back with some soup. Friday afternoon, I found the same story all over the neighborhood. Kids running out of food and planning to join the Chidester gang, all because they didn't know any better. I'm glad to see Craig and Erica here. They're doing better than most. Got a good supply of food stored up. Craig was ready to listen to me, but the other kids might need a little more convincing. Thank you all for coming. And now... As a reward for showing up and listening to what I have to say, help yourselves to some popcorn. That gets a pretty good result, I have to say. <laughs>